Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 22 of the Decades Challenge. We are in a very familiar place right now. We're back at the Miller Homestead, where it all began. Um, it's Harvest Fest today. So we have invited over um, Anna and Joseph to come for turkey dinner. Um, I thought it'd be better to have it at their house, just because it's nice to kind of revisit it. Um, I, I've missed these, uh, these Sims, actually. Oh, the dog needs a bath. Hold on, that won't do. We're going to have company over it. Um, how can I give him a bath? There's a way. There's a way. Here we go. There it is. Okay, so Margaret is making the turkey right now. Everybody's just kind of hanging out. Um, so there are the three... Oh, that's Anna right there. Uh, Edna's over there, and then we've got Mary. Uh, I believe that's... Well, Walter. And then Robert is somewhere, and Joseph is here. The dog is playing in that bush over there. And then Thomas, of course, is always hanging out with his cow plants. He's just so proud of them. Um, maybe play with that one. Uh, but I mean, I think Thomas would also be excited that oh, Jana, Jana, Joseph and Anna were here. Uh, they unfortunately could not bring Samuel because um, you can't like invite a toddler over to your house, unfortunately. Uh, also, we're, do, we don't have enough room at the table for everybody that's coming. So someone, like a few people have to sit on the floor. Oh, that's nice. They were just hugging. Um, Thomas should go over and... Ask Joseph about future plans. I think that would be a good opportunity for Joseph to tell his dad that he wants to buy the general store and uh, break it to him that he doesn't really want to be a farmer. I don't think, honestly, I don't think Thomas would care. Um, let's do... Oh, plugging on the wrong sim. Ask about his day. He'd be a very supportive dad. Um, back in my day. Yeah. Tell him about the 1800s. Go ahead. Um, and then... Oh, I guess. Oh, we're sitting down. Okay, Rue. Um, maybe we could, like, be thankful? Um, oh, it's not here. Where is it? Share Harvest Fest spirit. That should be good. Margaret wasn't doing too good with the whole turkey thing. Um, I just want to see how old these sims are. Thomas should be an elder pretty soon. And he's still got five days. He's doing, he's doing good. Uh, Mary, rude. We're actually about to eat. Okay, that's fine. They're all wearing the same outfits in different colors. Oh, this just went bad. Get it off the table. Come on. It's all set and nice, and now the place setting is gone. I even, like, I decorated the house. I wanted it to look really cute. There's, like, little pumpkins and a wreath. There we go. Call to grand meal. Oh, yes. That's the thumbnail right there. How perfect. Um, oh wait, maybe, maybe we need to like try and get the turkey in the picture. Is that doable? Nah, not really. I mean, like it does look good. Let's just, <laughs> we'll take a picture of just that. There we go. There we go. That means come and eat people. I really want Joseph and Anna to like sit at the table because that would also make a good thumbnail, but I don't know if they will. I can't control where they're, where they're going to sit. Yo. Joseph, you're not going to eat, are you? That's too bad. Oh, maybe he will. Come on. Um, so, oh, I was going to say, we have $2,400, but we're in the wrong household. Uh, after this, we're going to switch back over to Joseph and Anna uh, and their house so we can see how much money they have. They are currently saving up $8,000 to purchase the general store, which is actually right across the street here. It is right there. That lady is walking by it. Um, that's the store we want to buy. Um... And uh, I think it'd just be fun to run a retail store. Um, I've done it a few times in Sims, but actually never in the 1900s. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I think it'd be fun. I was thinking maybe Anna could, um, like I can set up a little bakery for her and she could sell some of her baked goods. She's not a great baker, but um, she could be. We could get there. Um, also, Joseph and Anna are expecting another baby. They're having a boy. I don't know when, but <laughs> they are they are having a baby. Okay, so they can eat all that. Um, so what else do we have to do? Invite guests? We did that, but we didn't get a check mark for it. Um, call to grand meal. Oh, that's Margaret that did those things. And they're supposed to garden as well. Um, one thing I do want... Um, Thomas. I always forget his name. I want Thomas to do is, uh, where is it? I don't even see it on here. I don't see it. Um, 
Enjoy company. I've never seen that before. I don't know how you do that, but okay. I want, it's trying to get him to, oh, there it is. Give gift. He is going to give him some simoleons for his store. He's going to give him a thousand simoleons. Um, I feel like that's not cheating. I mean, he has $2,400. He's got money to spare. Um, he could certainly, he can certainly give his son some money and it'll just help us get that much closer to getting the store as well. Just, just stop eating and give him the cash. Let's do this. What a good gift. Like a box of cash. I think that's amazing. Okay, so yeah, he gave a thousand dollars. Um, it's been taken out of his household funds, so I feel like that's pretty fair. Um, do we want to give him another thousand? I don't see why not. His dad could be like, yeah, let, let's, let's do it. Not a friendly gift. He's going to give him some more money. It might seem a little bit cheaty, but it's honestly going to take so long. Oh, someone downloaded my Michael Myers house. Thank you. Um, it's going to take such a long time to get $8,000, especially when we have such a small garden. Um, Thomas could, you know, that could be considered his shares. Oh, I forgot about this kid. Maud. Maud's a toddler. I don't know what, I forgot about her entirely. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so we gave him $2,000, uh, which means we only have 474 now, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to end their little, uh, their dinner here. I'd like to get them back at home and making some more money. So, yeah, that'll be the end of Harvest Fest. They had their dinner, and now they're going to head back home. Okay, so we are back at home. After getting that money from Thomas, we now have $5,900, so that's really good. Also, I think it's Anna's birthday. It's her birthday tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I don't think there's much to do in our garden. Um, spray area for bugs. Maybe they should do that quickly. It's 8 p.m., but they're not tired. And where's their ki Oh, he's right there. Their kid's right there. I think Samuel is actually really adorable. Let's, um, let's potty train him, I think. Because he hasn't been potty trained yet. And where's Arthur? What's he doing? Oh, he's sleeping on the bench. He's good to go. I kind of want to get them another cat. Um, I'm not going to rush into it, though, because I really like Arthur just by himself, and I don't know if I'm going to love having more than one. So I might do that a little bit later. Um, do we have to keep spraying, or is that it? Talk to the plants. I think we're pretty good. We should probably fill the cat's bowl, and then those are all good. Those are all good. Um, let's go craft. Um, what should we make? Let's make a dining table. He can sell that. You could always, um, also, like, instead of having a general store, like, we can t turn the general store into anything we want. Like, right now, it's it's called a general store, but we can actually, you know, we can make it a bakery for Anna. We could make it, like, a furniture store. We could have um, Joseph make all the furniture and sell it in his store. Like, there's lots of possibilities, so it doesn't have to be what, you know, what it says it is. We could, we could do anything we wanted with the space. Um, but either way, it's 8000 to buy it, so I would rather just um, buy it and then figure out just how what just what we want to turn it into. I don't really know yet. Uh, so right now, basically, it's just, it's all about the grind. we got to make these, uh, the benches and the dining tables and just keep selling them. Um, I don't think we have any in our inventory right now. We might, though. Oh, we should get him some food. The poor kid wasn't allowed to come for the Harvest Fest, which is pretty harsh. Um, Anna, I think she should go to the washroom. Also, at some point, I want them to move out of this house. It's not ideal for two kids. It's barely even ideal for one. So either we do some renovations on the house or we move because it's not going to be good. Like right now, Samuel's bed is just over in this corner here. They're about to have another baby. We do have the bassinet there, but I don't think it's perfect. <laughs> it's just a really small house. The, the other house, the other Miller homestead, um, was actually pretty ideal for a family. All the kids slept upstairs in the loft, and Arthur is scratching that bed, and I'm not here for it. Please go lecture him. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Okay, let's read Samuel to sleep. I don't know why that's considered a Harvest Fest tradition, but that's fine. Oh, we gotta wait for him to be finished eating. You're done. Oh, how about now? Let's make that now. Come on. Read him to sleep. Read him to sleep. Please do it. Pick up the child. There we go. Oh, oh, he's done. Okay, hold on. I don't want him to walk away. 
Um, let's get him to make another dining table. No, don't go. Leave your kid. Leave your kid. He's fine. Ugh. That's so irritating. Just listen to me, please. Um, do we have anything here we could sell? No, not really. Okay, so Anna, she's reading him to sleep. Then we're going to empty this, mop that up. I don't think there's anything out here we can do. Uh, replace that water, I guess. And we do need to clean the litter box. Um, it's really unrealistic to have to clean a litter box in the 1800s, but, or I guess it's the 1900s now, but um, you kind of have to in The Sims. That's, that's the only option. Um, then let's get him to play with Arthur. Hug him. Or, I mean, he just left, but whatever. Also, what's... What's this thing? Oh, it's just a leaf pile. What's What does he need? He doesn't like the plant? I have no idea what that means. I really don't. My, my dog is stomping on the mat next to me because he would like to sleep there, ideally. And it's just not comfortable enough. Um, okay, so get to know um, Brush. Anna, what are you doing? Just creeping. Um, maybe she could go eat something. Anna does not take pregnancy very well. Um, she's always in a really bad mood. Her needs decay a lot faster. I honestly believe that pregnancy affects Sims in different ways and it just it doesn't do well for her at all. Oh, we completed his milestone. Okay, that's good. Let's get him to go to the washroom and then go to bed, I think. That should be good. And when is this baby coming? Um, third trimester in 22 hours. So not for a while, we have quite a bit of time left. Um, Let's turn off these lights. I'm going to check our household inventory and then sell whatever Joseph has made. Uh, three tables for 9.45. Oh, we're so close. We are going to buy the store in this part. Like that is my biggest goal. Um, I definitely wanted to. Speaking of goals, um, <laughs> I'm. This is the first time I'm recording since I reached my goal of 100 subs. I'm at 107 right now. Um, so I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been subbing or just liking and commenting and like any kind of support that you've been giving me. Um, uh, I just want to say thank you because I never thought I was going to get to a hundred and I went from 66 to 107 in like four days and that is just amazing to me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very grateful. Uh, so I think I'm going to get her to go make some food maybe. Let's turn on the light so we can actually see. Um, uh, let's serve pancakes. And Samuel, he's actually pretty happy. He's good to go. Uh, let's get Joseph up and uh, working in this garden. Let's go sell everything. Um, I really just don't think that Joseph really enjoys the garden life. I mean, I've already said that. That's why he's going to be buying the general store. Um, it's just, it's just a better fit for him. He'd rather do sales. Um, so we're going to sell all of this. And I'm going to sell everything. Oh, I want to harvest the catnip. I'm going to make sure I, yeah, I'm going to stop him before he harvests or sells it because I'd like to actually give some of it to Arthur. I haven't, I've never done that before. Joseph has leveled up. No, Margaret, don't. Don't even. Is that it? Where are you going? Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, see him. I stopped him once already. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop selling it. Oh, he's just going to keep going. Okay, um, harvest the nuzzle nip. Apparently that's what it's called. There we go. Okay, so weed uh, this entire area and the garlic as well. With his fancy weeding machine. Um, Samuel can get up and grab some pancakes. There we go, nicely done. Okay, so how do I give this to Arthur? Let's fill this bowl, refill, and then we will call Arthur over here because I don't know what I'm doing right now. I've never done the catnip thing. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, let's see, how do I do this? Uh, give catnip treat. There we go. I don't know, does that make him like happy? I don't know, I think it will. There you go, some homegrown nuzzle nip for you there. I don't know. It's, oh, he's in a lovey mood now. That's nice. Let's pet him. And then let's... 
praise him and give him a treat. And what do we have for his aspiration? Be friends with five animals. He's currently friends with two. Be companions with one animal. I think that's Arthur. Like, look how close we are. Pet him and get to know him. I think we already know him pretty well, but that's all right. And then um, let lick face. If you love your animals, then you will let them lick your face. Uh, tell story. I'm just waiting for the bee companions to come. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Uh, let's go Let's go inside and get some pancakes. Um, does that mean we should get our laundry before it gets wet? Or is it too late? Oh, okay. It's too late. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, let's um, practice the violin. Oh, we need to get the cake out unless someone's eaten it. Because it is Anna's birthday right now. Um, oh good, we have a full cake. Don't play your crappy violin. Uh, add birthday candles. And then blow, oh no, don't remove candles, don't remove candles. You know what's annoying is that things aren't always in the same spot that you would expect them to be in. Help blow candles, why, 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 can't she, why? Power outage, oh right, okay, so, I mean that doesn't matter for them really because they are, whatever. Celebrate? Why can't she blow the candles for herself? Is it because she's pregnant? It's because she's pregnant, isn't it? Alright, that's fine. We'll wait. Clean that up. Um, practice your violin. Um, the power outage, by the way, is not part of Seasons or anything. It's a mod that I have installed. I just thought it was a really good idea that, to have um, power outage in the game. I think that's really fun. It can last anywhere between like a few hours and a few days, I think. Um, but for this family, it really doesn't matter. They always, they never use power anyway. Um, Samuel, you could come and stack some blocks. Anna, um, maybe these two could have a woohoo because... Yeah, their, their moods aren't great. Um, I don't really want her to go outside, though. Is there anything she can do inside? Let's just get her to go upstairs. And then uh, woohoo with Anna. That'll get both of their fun up. Um, and her social is getting a little bit low, so I think that should be good. And she's feeling tense from the power outage. Okay, so Samuel's got his blocks. He's good to go. Um... I think you can still use candles, but I don't remember exactly. Um, the fireplace still adds a little bit of light, so that's good. Um, then let's get her to use, take a bath. Um, I really wanted him to be outside. Uh, he might have to bear it and just, just go. Because um, we got to make this money. We're so close. I want to sell all those apples, and then I want to keep making furniture. <laughs> Don't sleep. Do not sleep. We don't have time for that. Go sell. Come on. We have like 10 minutes left in this part, and I'm pretty confident that we can get to 8,000. <laughs> I don't want him to get electrocuted, actually. Maybe he should just go inside. Come in here. Um, oh, he's too tense. Maybe if he goes inside... He okay, there we go. Make your dining room table. Um, Anna's having a bath. Samuel is sad? Why is he sad? Uh, scared of thunderstorms. Okay, reasonable. I hear ya. Um, go play with your rubber ducky, I guess. And then she could do some baking. Let's bake. Oh no, she cannot. She can't, she can't cook because of the power outage. Um, can we make anything without power? How come I can make all these things now? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. Um, Unless the power just came back on. Nope, it did not. Huh, that's weird. I don't know why she can't... Oh, is it... The power is out. All a sim can do is wait. A sim needs to eat, actually. Uh, can we serve... Let's just make a salad. We should be able to do that. Meanwhile, let's see what you're up to. Um, if he makes... I guess he would need to make, like, three more tables? Maybe even a few more, actually. The gardening just does nothing for us. We might even, like, just kill our garden because it does not make us much money. But it made Thomas a ton of money. Um, they actually did quite well. Make another table. Um, Samuel, he's actually pretty happy. Yeah, he's good. Um, so she's going to eat her salad and then maybe we could potty train him again. I think that'd be that's a pretty useful skill for toddlers. So I try to get them to do it as much as possible. Um... He's still uh, still working on his table. 
He does need to go inside though. Um, I'm gonna get him to harvest these apples and then he can go take a shower or a bath, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why we don't make much money. Um, I mean, we could fertilize, but I just don't know if it would really make a difference. Um, I don't know what the difference was. Like, how come Thomas's were so good? And we can't evolve anything? Weird. I don't know why. Okay, so she is going to... Um, what can she do? I don't even really know. <laughs> I never know what to do with her. Uh, the, the laundry is still wet, so that's not going to happen. Um, she could go wash the laundry in the wash tub. And then Samuel can go play with his blocks, I guess. One kid is always so easy. I don't know how many kids they're going to have. I don't have it, anything planned. Um, I know that after the second baby is born, I'm going to take a bit of a break until I figure out a living situation. Like, either expand their house or, I don't know, do something. Um, wow, she actually is, like, not happy. She needs to nap. Like I said, she does not do well with pregnancy. Margaret's calling. Go eat some salad. Uh, I'm just going to sell the tables he has because I want to get a good idea of where we're at. 630. Ah, oh, we're so close. I really, I really, really want this. <laughs> I really want the store. Um, go make another dining table. I wish there was something Anna could do. Or something we could sell. Is there anything we can sell? I mean, we could sell our dresser, but like, how cheap is that? Uh, we've got a mirror we could sell. I mean, yeah, who needs that mirror, really? Um, 500 bucks. Yeah, we're selling that. See? So close. Um, what else can we sell? Let's see here. That violin is like a family heirloom. Don't really want to sell that very much. Um, these boxes are kind of useless, but they're also only 48 bucks, so that doesn't do me any good. Um... Hmm. I think, I think I'll leave it there. He can make another, another table and then we should be good. Craft furniture, dining room table. Um, she can go here. Let's actually turn the lights back on. Or not. Power is out. It just, I thought the power came back on. I guess not. Grab another serving of that. Hold on. When you have, what? When you have a fire, this actually functions? Okay, wow. Um, I've been playing The Sims for, like, since The Sim 1 days, and I did not know that when you had a fireplace on your house and the fire was going, that smoke came out. That is amazing. It's so cozy. I love it. Okay, good. Oh, we can sell that wreath there. Like, that's useless. We don't need that wreath. 72 bucks for that. Anything else we can sell? I want to sell, like, just one more thing. Um, the ottoman, I mean, the ottoman's cute. I don't want to get rid of the ottoman. Um, the horse sculpture, he made her that horse, horse sculpture. I'm going to get rid of the mirror, actually, because I don't want to go into create a sim using the mirror, um, because you're supposed to do it with MC Command Center. I guess it's only when you have a really full household, though, so right now it doesn't matter, but for later down the line, it really will matter a lot. Also, all over the place with the camera here, and I can go to bed. Samuel can get some salad, and you can finish that so we can go get the uh, the deed to your new store. <laughs> We're really, really close. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can actually buy the store now, because that's what I want to do. Okay, so we have 8,041. We might be a little bit short. Um... How do I do this exactly? Purchase a retail store. Yeah, we might be a little bit short, but that's okay. Um, we can figure that out. Um, if we're a little bit short, the power is back on. Yeah, it, you mentioned that. It come, kind of comes in and out. Um, whatever we money we need, I'm just going to... I, I'm going to find a way. Um, we need 8044 Oh my god, we need $3. <laughs> we need $3. That's ridiculous. Um, the fire opal. Oh, this catnip. There we go. That's $6. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna have $3 left over. That is hilarious. I've never been short $3 <laughs> to buy, to buy something expensive. Um, okay, we're gonna purchase the general store. 
Uh, furnished, I, I guess. There might be some things in there that are useful. Um, I don't know what happens now. Is the game taking us to the general store? I have no idea. Um, but the, it does have some stuff in it. It's got like a cash, like a cash register. It's got a whole bunch of boxes and just like other kind of useless stuff, but that's all right. Um, we can sell what we don't need and the rest, uh, we will use. Um, transfer funds, that doesn't really matter. We don't have any funds at all. There we go. So we have purchased the general store. Um, thanks to Thomas's generous donation of $2,000. Um, so we got like a bunch of cobwebs in here. Um, yeah, I got our cash register, a bunch of boxes. So I mean, it's pretty empty, pretty bare, but we can definitely work on that. Um, I'll probably kind of get it ready off camera and ready to go for um, the next part. Uh, thanks for watching.